Hi guys, welcome back again. This is Master Jane from Malaysia. Today I'm gonna share another episode which lead to our hall function. So, hall function is very important to every home as this is the place that they accumulate the most powerful chi in the house besides the dog. Why? Because all the family members will spend a lot of time in the hall even if their relatives or friends that come to visit them also will be in the hall. So, this part of the house is actually the most active part of the house. Of course, we have a set, we call it the left and right, which is the dragon and tiger. Usually, how you define that is actually when you're sitting in, facing out, the left side is considered the dragon and the right side is always considered the tiger. So, according to Chinese ancient art of Feng Shui, the dragon part will basically be more active than the tiger. So, in order to set up your Feng Shui in the hall correctly, Usually, our TV, fish tank, all this active equipment will be more over the left side of the house rather than on the right side. However, if the environment of your left side is high, then you can place your TV, fish tank all over at the right side. So, I'll now share the 10 tips of how to do well in your hall feng shui. Number 1. Keep it clean and tidy. Always locate new chi and brightness, so you must open your window regularly to receive fresh air and chi, and even natural sunlight. Keep it very clean and tidy. Don't mess it with a lots of trash and unwanted stuff, especially all those magazine or old newspaper. If you don't want it, just discard it and keep adequate space for the hall volume. Number two, fish tank and water feature. Fish tank and some water features is advisable to place in your hall as these water features and fish tank will provide you with a symbol of money management, extra cash and extra wealth. Usually the active hall area is recommended to have a fish tank but where is the location for the fish tank and water features to be placed? If you don't know Feng Shui, you can always look at these two wood sectors which is the southeastern part and the eastern part of your house. Just place it there to enhance you with more opportunity and wealth. Number 3. Couch against the wall Remember, your couch is the main seated discussing part of the hall. So when you have a couch, regardless if it's one seater, two and one, three to one seater, the main couch is best is to be stood leaning against the wall. If you have just glasses and mirror all sided, what should you do? You have to place some bookshelf or some racking right behind before you place the couch. Never ever have a couch that is backing by the main door as it will cause you to have a lot of distractions, emotional disturbances, even worries and lacking of support. Number 4. Things behind couch. Never ever have a clock or reflective mirror right behind the couch as this will give you worriness, unstability, emotional disturbances. So, behind you should be replaced by hanging some nice picture or wallpaper instead. Number 5. Coffee table. The whole area where your couch is, the best on the part is your coffee table. As the ancient Chinese practice of Feng Shui, they always believe coffee table is one of the key points that you will have more future opportunities. So there's a reason why you have a coffee table right in front of your couch as it indicates sustaining of opportunity in the hall as well. Number 6. Sitting under a staircase Never sit under a staircase. If you have a couch sitting under a staircase, it will cause you disturbances or worriness. And also, people will not respect you because people have been crossing ups and down over the staircase. So it's best to shift away the couch not leaning against the staircase. Number 7. Sitting under a beam. As the beam will also form a cut. If you have no choice because of space, then I will recommend you to close up the beam by putting up plastic seam. If you can't do so, as the column of the beam is too low, then another try is to place two pieces of hands up Buddha at both and to control the beam system. Of course, the best to move away from that because it shows signs of unhappiness, weariness, as well as hip operation of injury. Number 8. Study table in the hallway. Having a study table in the hall area or your hallway will defeat your concentration. A study area is reflected to be passive area. 
so you will never have a peace of mind to do so if your study table is at a hall area. It will cause you to have a lot of distraction from a TV, radio, and even activity from guests or whoever is there. So it is recommended to be elsewhere at the corner or room in order to perform your study well. Number nine, decorating with dry plants. Avoid placing a lot of dry plants or dry branches in the hall area, as these branches or dry plants will probably cause you to have signs of poor harvesting. And it will also reflect the disharmony of the family, lots of argument or even financial worry. So, in order to cheer up and active up the poor area positively of receiving good harvesting, you should get some huge greenery round leaf potted plants to place at the corner of the house or hobby instead of dry plants and branches. Number 10. Fireplace. For those people who are staying in a fall season country, most of them probably will have a chimney or a fireplace at home. Remember, along the wall of the chimney area, never ever place your family photos on top of the fireplace. And it indicates the meaning of the person to be cremated. So it is best to place your photos somewhere else instead of the chimney area. So this is the third episode of 10 Tips on Hall Feng Shui that I'm sharing with you guys today. Well, I have answered your doubt and you guys have benefited from this video. If you guys like to have more tips on Feng Shui, please click the like and share button from my Facebook or you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll keep you guys posted with more information on Feng Shui. Thank you very much for joining me. Wish you guys have a great day ahead. Okay? And I'll be seeing you soon. This is Master David Chen. Bye!